Hi guys, it's me. So with the whole third lockdown UK COVID-19 situation, I am not exactly going to be going back to university anytime soon. But that's not going to stop me making content and sharing with you guys what I love to do. So today I thought I would show you what is in my makeup box. Before this begins, it's very important to note that this box is my makeup. These are my go-to's that I use on myself and all the kit I need immediately on hand. I have so many different kits for different projects, depending on what you need, what type of equipment, what type of project it is. So this is not all of it. Believe me, there is a lot. <laughs> this is just my kit, my go-to, and I want to share it with you guys. I hope you enjoy. To start off this kit tour, I've decided to give you a lovely high angle shot of my very messy desk, and this will let you see inside the box, see where I keep things, what kind of tricks I keep up my sleeve, and how it all fits together. And ta-da! Here is the box. Remember, this is not a specific kit, this is just what I use for myself, personally. All of my favourite colours and materials, somewhere in one place where I can access them quickly when I need to. As you can see, the box is split into three major parts, and in this top section I keep my lipsticks, red and black, powder puff eyelash curlers contour and chapstick, and another powder puff and recent face paints. Over here are sponges, spirit gum and hair ties, because I have very long hair, eyeliner, eye primer and a beauty blender, and setting powder, Vaseline and a cleaning pot for my smaller brushes. This way everything is organised and I know exactly where it is. In the middle section here, are all the medium sized things that are too big for the top and too small for the bottom. In this side there are lots of things so I've made a list. These are all the narrow pencil mascara -y, glue stick shaped things. Quite narrow, can be easily stacked in with each other. This saves me a lot of space and it helps me identify things by shape. On the other side, it's the same principle, but these are the tubes that are a little more awkwardly shaped. Foundations, IPA spray, hand sanitizer, and my beloved mixing palette, which is so useful when mixing colors, I cannot recommend it enough. In the bottom section of the box are all the slightly bigger things that are essential to have on hand. I'm going to take them out one by one and show you, as well as giving you a list on the side of the screen as to what everything is. To start with is my Cryolan brush set, a set of false lashes, which you can see I adore, cotton pads for removing makeup, cotton q-tips, also for removing makeup, and my full set of working brushes. This set in particular is from a site called Crown Brush UK and it costs a little bit of money but the brushes are such high quality and look at that, beautiful and I love them. <laughs> Nothing more to say really. Continuing with the tour, I have a trusty bottle of liquid latex, a Cryolan palette of Dermacolor concealers, and some eyeshadow palettes, highly pigmented and wonderful to work with. In this bag is a lot of miscellaneous MAC products. They just kind of live together until I can find a new box to keep them all in.
in the bottom of the box, I have another concealer palette, my aqua colours, again from Cryolan, and two palettes from Illamasqua of one set of nude tones and one set of vibrant tones. Here we have bruise wheels, a bottle of IPA alcohol, hairspray, and of course, makeup removal wipes. And here is everything without the box laid out for you to see it. Yeesh, my arms ache just looking at it. Now, you might have a completely different kit to mine. You might have different products, keep it in a different way, and that's completely cool. I am by no means saying there is any one way to do this. This is just what I like to have. If you'd like to see any of my other kits or some of the more specialist stuff I have, or if you have any questions about what I use and how I use it, leave me a comment down below. I'm always happy to chat about it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this makeup mystery box tour. I hope to see you guys in the next one.